Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today is not going to be one of my normal beauty related videos, but it's something I've been interested in. So I thought maybe someone else might be interested in it. So one of my goals for 2020 is to really work on reducing my waste. I was more conscious about recycling, reusing, things like that before, but I just want to mainly focus on reducing my waste because it's good to recycle and all of that, but I wanna focus on reduce because that is, or should be the number one step. First of all, reduce what you can. So while I still consider myself a beginner in reducing my waste, I still think I have a long way to go. I thought it would be a good idea to make a video showing what I've been doing to hopefully spark some other people to have their own ideas or to take some of my ideas. I think a large percentage of the waste we create is related to the kitchen somehow, like whether you're making food, buying coffee, using plastic, everything. So a lot of these items are going to be like eating, drinking, kitchen related type items. But first I want to start also with something you may not be thinking about, makeup wipes. We use so many of them and they're just going into waste like whether you use one a day or if you use three a day or god forbid more that's just so much waste and it is so expensive makeup wipes aren't cheap but those wipes are just unnecessary ways that we're creating to take off our makeup when there are far better products to do that so i have tried out some cleansing balms i've tried just using my face wash and doing a double cleanse to take off my makeup but i found the most effective way is to use an oil so i bought this almond oil by the now brand it was only five dollars and it's four ounces and i've had it for a couple of weeks and i've barely used any so instead of using a makeup wipe i will put like a tiny bit like maybe a dime size in my hand rub it around and then just rub it on my face to break down the makeup and it works so well it quickly breaks down foundation eyeliner mascara it actually works even for waterproof eyeliner or mascara i will rub it around my face and break everything down for probably about 30 seconds it doesn't take that long it probably wouldn't even take 30 seconds and then i will go in with my regular face wash i will try and get off whatever oil i can with just warm water but then i will also then go in with my cleanser to remove everything Using an oil to remove your makeup is so much more gentle on your skin, especially on your eyes. Makeup wipes every single day are kind of abrasive on your skin and especially on your eyes, like trying to get mascara off with a wipe. I've had so many eyelashes fall out because of that. It's hard for me to get like really thick eyeliner off with wipes because you're just scrubbing really hard at your eyes. You know, you're not supposed to rub your eyes too much because you'll create lines and wrinkles in the future. So the oil is something I can just gently put on my eyes and slightly rub. I don't have to really pull my eye like you do with a wipe. So not only is this gentler on your skin, but it's also going to last you so much longer. So you're going to save money. So like, why wouldn't you? The next couple of things are coffee related. I drink multiple cups of coffee in a day, more so now that we've been in quarantine and that's what's keeping me alive. But I used to always use K-cups. We have a K-cup machine. It's super convenient. It's super quick. It's easy, but it creates so much waste. If I have three cups of coffee in a day, that's three K-cups made of plastic that are just going in the trash every single day. I mean, it's nice because if I don't want to brew an entire pot of coffee, if I want to just do a single cup, I can do that with the Keurig. So the first thing I got, I actually left at work, but it is a reusable K-cup uh, filter cup that fits in, I think, pretty much any type of Keurig machine, even if it's off-brand. Like, I think ours was um, Mr. Coffee. You can get them for around $10 to $15. I think $15 is on the high end, like if you want the Keurig brand one, but you can get off-brand that I think probably work just fine. And so instead of constantly wasting all of that plastic every day, you can just put your ground coffee in the little K-cup thing, put it in the machine. It allows for a lot more options than just buying K-cups from the store. Another option you can use is a pour over. So I got this from Target, this was $10. And so what you do is you just put the grounds in the filter and then you boil water and just like in a circular motion, pour the water in and it comes through a hole down here and you lay it on top of a mug and it just brews right into your mug. I actually like the taste of this coffee a lot better. It tastes more rich and a little bit less bitter, but I was specifically looking for one that had a built-in filter because if I'm going to reduce waste, I want to actually reduce waste, not just find something else to waste. So it's super convenient that I don't have to buy the paper filters. I also got another version for work. This one I got on Amazon is Cafe Lissimo. This is just one piece. The other one was two separate pieces, but this has like a built-in 
filter. This one is even easier to clean because it's only one item. It is dishwasher safe, so I use this most of the time. So those are a few inexpensive options if you are a big coffee or tea drinker. In that same vein, if you are someone that often goes to coffee shops, I highly recommend keeping some sort of travel mug in your car. Each time you go to a coffee shop and get a drink, whether it's iced or hot, you're getting probably a paper or plastic cup with a paper or plastic lid. So something I've been trying to do lately is to keep some kind of mug in my car so that way if I choose to get coffee, it's already ready and I can have them put it in my cup. I think things might be a little bit different right now because of, you know, the pandemic. They might not be allowing that currently, so just like take this information into the future. So not only are you going to be reducing waste, but you will also have something that will keep your drink either colder or hotter than a paper or plastic cup will. You can get a travel mug basically anywhere. I'd say like $10 can get you a travel mug at Target, Walmart. So they're really not expensive. Also kind of just segueing into the next thing is a reusable water bottle. I have been using a reusable water bottle for years now. I drink a lot of water, like maybe 100 ounces in a day, and I used to use plastic water bottles because I'm also a water snob but we would be blowing through a pack of water bottles in a matter of a couple of days in my house. So I have a couple of reusable water bottles that I will cycle through. This one is made from steel. I encourage you to get one made from either glass or steel and not plastic. One, I think it tastes better. There's something that plastic does to the water like if it's in the sun it just takes the taste. And two, I'm pretty sure it's just better for the environment if you use something more sustainable like glass. You can get reusable water bottles for so cheap, like five below sell some that are glass and steel. Obviously Walmart, Target, any really grocery store should have them. Now for my people that are like me and are water snobs, I understand tap water don't like the taste, especially in my city. I hate the taste of water. Some people don't think they can taste it. I can. So I got a filtering water bottle. Now a lot of people have Brita filters or a similar brand. Those I think start at around $30 and go up and they have different levels of filtering, which is also a great option. I wanted something I can bring basically anywhere I go and I can fill up water. So I ended up going on Amazon and getting an individual filtering water bottle and there are a lot of different brands with different levels of filter. I really wanted something that I could remove the taste of tap water with but also something I could take hiking. So I bought the Survimate filtering water bottle. I don't have it right here with me so I will put it on the screen. There's a similar one made by Life Straw, but these are around $30 as well. So I will take this with me if I am going out somewhere where I'm not sure if they're going to have like clean fresh water. If it's something where I will have to get it from the tap, I will bring that just in case. And I understand it is a little bit more expensive, like $30 for a water bottle is not cheap, but I've had mine for like at least a year now and I have really no issues with it, no wear or tear. It's a good sturdy bottle that I've actually brought with me hiking all over and it's worked great. Like it really freaking works. You probably guessed that this was going to be on the list because it is very popular to be aware of this right now. The straw. A lot of them are metal or glass and they're the long type and that's kind of hard to keep in your purse. So I was looking for something that I could easily and discreetly keep with me. I got this little guy at Gabriel Brothers. I don't know if that's just like a regional thing or not. I got it for only $5 but I found that you can get a pack of two for $8 on Amazon. Walmart sells them. You can buy them so many different places online for pretty inexpensive. And so mine even came with like a little keychain if you wanted to keep it on your key ring or something. And it's just a little twist tube. And inside is a little expandable straw. So I love that this can retract down to easily fit in my purse. And it came with this little carrying case so you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. And it also came with a little cleaning stick, which also expands. I love that the cleaner spoolie can fit in here because what I was using before I would always rely on taking the straw home and cleaning it but this I can just do it wherever I am. It's lightweight and small it can fit in your pocket and it's so easy if you are a straw user. It wouldn't be a video about reducing waste if I didn't mention grocery bags. So much plastic goes into making grocery bags and if you're getting a full cart of stuff that is so much plastic a lot of it ends up getting wasted. That's what I've been doing for a while now is I will bring my own reusable bags and I found some that I think are far superior to the other ones you typically find in a grocery store. Now this one I actually got from Ikea for like 
two or three dollars but i went online and you can find similar ones like this for about like four to five dollars so this is just like a standard reusable bag but attached to it is a carrying case so you can fold it up into this thing and i just keep it in my purse like i will i'll show you it's just in this cute little pouch. And this is so small if you wanna keep them in your car. I keep this in my purse. I actually keep two in my purse because I have one that goes even smaller. These are super nice because it's so compact. It's not like you have to walk into the store with your bunch of reusable bags. This is so small, it's really durable. And I, I love that it folds within itself because now, since I have it with me all the time, if I have an unexpected trip or I just need a bag for any reason, I will always have it with me and I don't have to use plastic. And the other good thing about reusable bags is you can fit so much more. When I go to the store, I'm able to fit like three plastic bags worth of groceries in this one bag. The most bags I've even used in a grocery trip, like a big grocery trip, is five. That's something I can carry on both my arms as opposed to 20 plastic bags. Now, something else you might not actually think about when you go to the store, produce bags. I see so many people put like a single cucumber in a plastic produce bag or a single apple. That's just, it's not necessary. I got these reusable produce bags, which they came in a pack of nine in varying sizes. There's one that's like a lot bigger than this if you have like a huge head of cabbage or lettuce. They're this really thin, light mesh material. You use so many plastic produce bags that you don't even realize it. And as far as I'm aware, those don't even get reused by most people. They just go straight in the trash. So I got my pack of nine for $12. You can also find a pack of five for $7 on Target. They can fold up pretty easily, so they're just as small as the grocery bag. And I've had mine for at least a year and a half, so they're not gonna tear. Another suggestion I have is going to places that offer bulk food. So places that have the bulk bins of like flour, rice, sugar, peanuts, all kinds of different stuff like that, and bring your own jars or bags. But if you're using a jar, you're not using the plastic bags that they offer for bulk food, and you're not creating the waste if you were to buy that product off the shelf. And while you can go out and buy mason jars, honestly, you can just reuse jars like pasta, pickles, all of those jars, you just have to clean them out, remove the sticker, and it looks like another jar. So that is all I have for today's video. My mind is kind of all over the place, so I hope that that all kind of meshes together and doesn't sound like a bunch of rambling. I will leave links to whatever I can in the description below if you want to check out the products I use. I encourage you to think of other ways you can reduce your waste and just make small changes. You don't need to be this zero waste person that cuts out everything all at once. But if everyone is being mindful to make small changes, that'll make a huge difference. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your support. Uh, give it a like and subscribe if you want to, and I will hopefully see you in my next video.